uh, into His glorious body. But now is the time. That's the time. This is like a, a, a proving ground. Now we get to, to trust God in a unique way. Isn't that something? That's really something. And now I don't like tribulation. I just don't like it. It makes me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> and I tell you, I try to avoid it at all costs. When, when I'm cold, I turn up the heat. When I'm hot, I turn on the AC. If you think about how much we do to keep these old bodies happy. How many of you drink a pot of coffee a day? Right? You're keeping that body happy. I don't drink coffee, but I wake up with a Mountain Dew. <laughs> so whatever your, whatever your thing is, right? We, we like to be happy. Right. We like to treat ourselves well. Yeah. When, when we go out to a fine restaurant, we don't order skunk. Yeah. Yeah. We get steak, we get T-bone. Because we try to avoid tribulation at all costs. <laughs> but sometimes you can't help it. It will catch up with you. Yes. Sometimes you can't help it. It's part of the life of a believer. Those are the times that God looks at our character. Those are the times that we uh, are, that, that the, the fruit of the Spirit has an opportunity to come forth in abundance during those times. You know, even Jesus talked about, hey, when you have a dinner, you know, don't, don't just invite the people who can invite you back, right? That's easy to do. You know, invite the people that can't pay you back. So, you know, we really need to be led of the Lord in all these things, too. But he says, be careful for nothing. Nothing means nothing, right? Now, could it mean some things? Are, are there some things you should be filled with care about? But it says nothing. But you know what? I, I'm just not at that place yet. I wish I could say, yeah, I don't worry about nothing. <laughs> ever. But you know what? Cares, will, cares are always there. The cares of this world. The deceitfulness of riches. You might not have the struggle of, of being deceived by riches. You might not have that trial. You might say, I'm on the opposite end of the scale, brother. But we all have the cares of the world. I try to come. And you know what those cares try to do? What do they do? They try to choke the word out. Right? They try to choke the word out. What word? This word. This is the word. Be careful for nothing. Here's the care. It's trying to choke out. Be careful for nothing. And trust God. But he says, you see, God doesn't just tell you something not to do. He gives you something to take its place. He says, don't be, be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. You see, when we, when we get filled with care, what we do is we get focused on how are we or somebody we know going to meet my need. That's what, we, that's what fills our mind. How often does a, does, a, does a trouble come unto you and the first thought is, who can I call? You know? Who can I call to help me out of this situation? That's a, that can be our first thought. Rather than taking that care to the Lord. Neighbors are fine. I love them, everyone. We get along in sweet accord. But when my soul needs manna from above, who can I call but to the Lord? Right? And God will let us, sometimes God will let us just, you'll call that person, Nobody home. You'll text that person. So you got to be modern now. You text that person. Nobody responds. <laughs> Who am I going to call? I can't get a hold of the pastor. I can't get a hold of the deacon. I can't get a hold of the elder. I can't get a hold of my best friend. What am I going to do? Who's going to give me the answer that I need? And God will let you get to that place where you have no one but Him. There will be, there will be times when you have no one to call upon but Him. You will felt like everybody forsook you. You know, Jesus, you know what it said about Jesus? They hated me without a cause. 
Jesus. They hated Jesus. If there's anybody worthy of all love, it would have been him. Yet without a cause, they hated him. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. Jesus was falsely accused. You know, they brought accusations against Jesus. And as they brought him, maybe people started sharing these accusations. None of them matched up. None of them made sense. But they sent him to death anyway. <coughs> now that was God's plan. You're talking about somebody who is the, about the, the worst verdict in history. That was it. All they had to do was go out in the street and ask anybody about Jesus. And he would have said, uh, that, uh, this man is a good man. This, man. this man healed my brother. This man gave me sight. The Bible says that the common people said about Jesus, he does all things well. And so here the, the, he says, don't be careful, but in everything by prayer and supplication. Let your request be made known unto God, right? It's God. That's our first course. Now, praise God for the people that help us. Praise God when, when we got good brothers and sisters and, and they'll, they'll comfort us and help us. But when our soul needs manna from above, who, who do we have but the Lord? 